Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this Vivor SDS Plus Rotary Hammer Drill. It is a cordless drill, comes with a couple of batteries, charger, handy dandy case, you get some drill bits and accessories. Now, I've had some reports from people that the batteries come dead on arrival, don't work, aren't going to work. Got an option for you to try to revive them to get it working for you. Also, sometimes with these... Uh, off-brand companies Makita batteries will be interchangeable this is not the case for this specific tool you cannot uh, just use a Makita battery but if you have one it may help you uh, bring these back to life we'll try and jump start them here in one second now you cut you hit the charger that's over here one of my batteries came it won't hold the charge this other one I started charging and then uh, I was playing around with the tool and the battery went dead again because I didn't give it enough time to actually get a proper charge. So we'll look at a couple of the features and then we'll see if we can get these batteries working again. So if we take a look at the drill itself, we have our auxiliary handle, screws like that. It's got a little band clamp you see there so you can put it in any position that you need. We have our selector switch which is slightly confusing but not totally confusing, just a little bit. So on this side we have drill and hammer mode and there's a push button here and we rotate this guy Oh, didn't hear it lock, but it locks into place here, and that's just hammer mode. In addition to this, we have the lever right here that has two positions, one to the left and one to the right. If we look at the side of it, right there, you can see that is drill-only mode. So if you're in hammer mode here and drill-only mode here, nothing happens. doesn't do anything. If you put this to drill and hammer mode and you're on drill for this you're only going to get drill. If you're on drill and hammer mode and you switch it to this side, you're going to get drill and hammer. If you're on drill and hammer mode here and only hammer mode here, you're only going to get hammer. I know. <laughs> You'll figure it out. It's an on off switch that does not have, uh, it's not variable speed. So keep that in mind. And then it comes with some drill bits, it comes with some lubricant, you can use that for later as well. And then uh, you also get a wrench. You get the wrench to take this cap off because this is where your lubricant goes. And I'll just take it off real quick and show you that it comes pre-lubed. Like another product that you're familiar with. So you can see it's all in there and everything. So something you probably want to keep an eye on as you use this guy to make sure it doesn't go dry. Nobody likes it going dry. There we go. Don't embarrass me now. Can't even rethread it. Okay, that's tight enough for our purposes. Now, for the charger, you get the green light there. You put a battery on it, and it'll flash green. I don't remember if this was the good battery or the one that uh, we're having problems with. Okay, so flashing green light, that's a good thing. That means the battery is charging. When I put this battery on... It initially just has a bright green light like when it's sitting there with no battery on. Then for a second it went red and then I tried looking up what red means. I have no idea. And then it went back to just solid green. So this battery will not charge and I'm going to show you an option to get it to charge. <clears throat> so I think these have just probably been sitting in a warehouse for a long time batteries dead you need some amount of voltage a lot of times for these chargers to to do anything to detect that the battery is on there so we're just going to use a little jumper wire and a known charged battery i'm going to use dewalt since it's probably the most popular brand or at least it's in the team photo so all batteries have you see positive here you see negative over here and on this guy we see negative over here and positive over here don't mix it up make sure you get it right plus to plus minus to minus and we just want to do this for like two minutes. All we need is just a little bit of juice onto this battery so then we can put it on the charger and give it a shot. So I put little spade connectors on my guy right here. That's the negative on that one. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to the negative side on this guy here. And then we'll go to the positive on our DeWalt. And then we'll go to the positive on our Vivor. And we're just going to... Two minutes. Two minutes, and we'll take it off. Now, while that's sitting doing its thing, I'm going to take this guy off, because we know the battery should flash green when we're getting a charge, and we can just see that was, you know, two minutes of being on a charger, but just to show you that that one is charging fine, we'll come back to that one. 
All right, we got our two minutes of bump, so let's go ahead and disconnect this guy. And we can check the battery indicator, but really all we care about is that it will go on the charger. Oh, look at that, we got a light. I probably should have checked it beforehand, but I'm telling you, it, it didn't have a light before. Well, that's all the charger cord I got. Boom! Battery works. So once we have two working batteries, two four amp hours is actually gonna be pretty good on this. This is a high draw kind of guy, but not having a cord is really nice. So we're just gonna to go to town now. It's actually pretty compact. I don't have a project really to legitimately show it to you guys, but I'm not too worried about the batteries. They'll be just fine. So there it is. Thanks for watching.